I grew up with the instrument, actually. My father is a violinist. He's a very accomplished violinist. He was the assistant concert master for the Cleveland Orchestra for over 30 years. He's exceptional, world class. In my heart, I was an artist, and I spend much of my time drawing and coloring and painting, and eventually I worked my way into the art field. And I worked as an artist for, for 10 years, and I was happy doing that, and the, uh, then the computer came along. But then it came to the point where if I was to continue in my field, I would be forced, just to keep up with everyone, to sit in front of a screen for eight hours a day, 40 hours a week. And I couldn't do that because I needed to use my hands. And so I left that, I left that field. And I didn't know what I was going to do, actually. I had no idea. I need to find a way that I can express myself and also make a living doing it. And it's very difficult, especially in this country where everything is based on um, immediacy. Of course it was meant to be. And when I decided that, I knew that this was the school that I wanted to go to. instrument was in the basement, in the basement floated with water. I have a brother who's a computer programmer, I'm sure he'll probably make a lot more money than I ever will. But for me it's important that I have something that I love to do. That I look forward to getting up in the morning and going to work. Violin bow, um, the weight of a violin bow is 61 gram. 62 is, is okay, 63 is too heavy, and 59 is too light. After your training, you can consider that you know how to make a bow, but you are not really a bow maker. There are pregnant female beetles that are plucked from a cactus in South America. Um, honestly, I just uh, I fell in love with it. I got curious how instruments were made, and I, I bought an old violin from a maker that was just in pieces. I couldn't get enough of it after that. I started making one in my garage, and and then I found out there were schools, and I believe this is just one of the best schools there is. Maybe decide. Well, I, I played the cello when I was when I was young. I played the cello, and still kind of play the cello now. But I guess that's kind of how I got interested in all, all classical music. And uh, listening, sitting around with some friends, listening to Queen, Night at the Opera. Somebody told me that Brian May made his own guitar, or like his dad helped him build it. Something I was like, wow, I could build a guitar? I could build a guitar! And I got all excited about it, and then I thought, well, I'm much better at playing the cello. <laughs> Maybe I could build a cello. So, that's the short answer. It's something that I probably won't ever really want to retire from it. I'll retire the day that I can't do it anymore. I don't know, I think I way into it now. I love it, I don't want to do anything else.
ha ha ha, check this out. I've got a fascinating fact for you. <laughs> Sitka spruce is the strongest wood in the world as far as 